I don't know. We are about to head out of this spot. We got super busy last night because obviously people who don't book just show up at night time so that they don't face consequences and then they leave that shit early in the morning so that they don't get caught. And they're blocking cars and yeah. like just parking in front of people's cars. Backpackers, standard, you know. Anyway, um, we're going to go play golf today because it's pretty cheap and it's just up the road from us, so golf it is. Holly's going to try and drive some balls and... I hate golf, by the way. She likes mini golf. golf. Mini golf, sorry. Yeah, I like mini golf. I'm just, I shouldn't say I hate golf. I just find it boring because I don't really understand the game and it takes forever. But we're still waiting for Mel and Josh to come up and... The more points um, you get, the you win, right? Yeah, I know that much. <laughs> that is not true. Yeah, I know that I'm aiming for a hole in one or is it a par? Oh, fuck, yeah, right. Is it a par? Birdie. Birdie, is that just the one after or something? I don't know. I only know that from the Wii. <laughs> from the Wii, yeah. Um, good old Wii sport <laughs> days, eh? But, um, I'm just, I'm just putting down my devil horns. Any girls that watch this, it's called the slick stick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's like a really waxy, sticky stick. Sticky stick. I ha I'm a big texture person. That's why I hate wearing sunscreen and stuff because it's greasy. Same with this, but it does have like little devil horns that pop up. You, you would have seen them on here. Um, just like random bits of hair growth. Normally women only get it after having kids, but I've had it my whole life. So um, they're quite annoying and get in my way. So I just stick them down with this and see if it does the job. But um, anyway, we're going to go play some golf today. Also a battery update. I'm going to need to buy a second battery because it's no longer taking volt. Well, it is. It just takes like two hours of driving before it will hold anything over eight volts. So it's not really ideal because it keeps clicking the um, smart isolator relay thing in mm. while you're driving so the funny thing is I actually asked Kev if he needed another battery like when it happened and he said no no nah, we'll now. be fine but golf on nice clubs <laughs> thanks do you put them in the back there yeah strap them in, strap them in. here we go <laughs> right number one Kev's got the driver so he tells me I know nothing about golf so yeah, do I. it wasn't 30 bucks I have nothing to bloody know about oh this has got a dent in it oh yeah blame the club already <laughs> You didn't hit it. Yeah, I know. Oh, geez, serious? He's having yeah, practice yeah, shots. Yeah, Far out. Whoop. Straight in the tree. Pretty sure that went in the water. Look out, innocent bystanders. I'm only going to cop a oh, fucking really? club. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Should have given you a shovel. <laughs> I'm fucking the, the ground. People are judging me. How do you do it without doing the ground? All oh, this is bad. Just swing. I did. Aim for the ball though. <laughs> Make sure you watch the ball. There you go. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, no, that's all right. You did better than me. Mine was in the trees. I've got a fine one. Right, guys, Kev's just having his second turn behind. I can't really get him. He's back there. Um, and anyway, while he's having his second turn, I'll tell you. We are still at hole one. I've had one hit with the driver, and then I changed to number eight, and it went straight in the pond. And Kev's hit with the driver, straight in the pond. So currently, we're two balls down, and I feel like we're gonna run out of balls on hole one. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, we're onto the second hole now. Uh, scores for the first <laughs> hole were eight and 15. <laughs> And I was eight. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. All right, we're on to the second one now. Should have had practice. He takes it so seriously. Nice shot. Happy with that one? Okay. That's good. Uh, she's actually getting heaps better. I've told her she needs to um, spread my legs more. Yep, so that she gets lower to the ball there. Do you have a practice shot? Oh, I always do, yeah, just in case. Yeah, that was nice. That was good form. Good and form. I followed it through. Followed it through, yeah. Lovely. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Well. <laughs> Poor tree. Oh, uh, second, second hole. I had a prime shot straight down the guts. Beautiful, but Kevin yeah. didn't record oh. it. I fucked up and went in a sandbar and it took me six shots to get it out of the sandbar, so it was uh, nine to 18. And this time I actually- I got the nine. highest score. <laughs> We're just looking for our balls because they hit the tree, both of them did. But anyway, 
Have a look at this. I'm pretty sure this is a common occurrence on country golf um, courses, but cute little critters. Yeah, the roos are everywhere out here. They just don't care. I wonder if one of them have been hit. All right, we just finished hole nine. And what are the scores, Kev? 96 to 86. <laughs> so it took me 96 shots to get nine holes and Kev 86 shots. So that's how good we are. We nearly got 100. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> how awesome. High score. Anyway, we're going to head back and that's probably lunch. have lunch there if we can. All right, that was a bit of fun. I tried to convince Kev to go back and do the other nine holes after having lunch, but he wasn't convinced. He was nah, done. Nice <laughs> freaking hips are sore from spreading my legs and doing the little wobble and shit. So we are currently on our way back to Townsville, much to my disgust, because I really don't want to go back there, but um, we really need another second battery. It's yeah, not even moving at all. It's just going down and not charging while we're driving. So um, it powers all of the side lights, like to our tent and awning. Um, it's been charging the HEMA and charging all of our batteries and things, um, the camera equipment. So yeah, can't really get away with not getting one so before we go and do Cape York and go completely remote we are heading back to Townsville to get a battery. Right, new battery is in. Kev's just gone to get a terminal because this part obviously won't reach there so he's got to get one so we can put that on and then done. Battery's done. Yep ended up getting a um, Century dual purpose one. Uh, set. I think it had 95 amp hour and 750 cold crank and ants, which is plenty for what I need it to do, so Mickey. I'll also just mention, seeing as my husband neglected to mention this, oh, the battery yeah. that he chose was too big, so both Kev and the spare parts guy were racking their brains trying to think of another battery. I'm just about to the first exit onto Road. Hang on, interrupted by Siri. We were not racking our brains. They were racking their brains. And you know what? It took me all of two seconds to find the perfect, most compatible battery and in she pops. Not only that, as Kev was coming out to remove the old battery, before he even does that, I already hitched the bonnet up and passed in the socket set. You know what? Didn't even get asked to do that. I just knew that sockets are gonna be needed. And I just knew obviously that the bonnet has to be up. So ladies or gentlemen, if you're watching this, do your part. This is the common sense I was talking about. So, <laughs> so certain people just need need that holly so what do you mean? i do have that that's, yeah, what, that's I do. what i mean oh yeah, so yeah. kev always goes on about the yeah. apprentices that they have at work and how lots of young people nowadays don't have common sense anyway just do your part okay just got back from a look around in castletown which is the name of a townsville shopping center got ourselves a boost juice much to kev's disgust he didn't want one but i got him one anyway and we got some um dunkin donuts is it dunkin donuts donut king, donut king do um, a deal at the end of the day where they give you like a whole bag of donuts for $8 and they're really warm cinnamon donuts. So we got one of them, Kev's got one left. I ate all of mine. Um, and we are gonna head to our camp tonight, which is about 40 minutes out. Okay, we just got to the campsite that we're supposed to be staying at tonight. And I don't mean to whinge or like complain because I feel like it's no point doing that. Can't change anything, but I'm going to anyway. Because that campsite was completely chockers. There were people everywhere. The only places that you could have fit your car was like blocking off a caravan or blocking off someone else from actually leaving tomorrow if they left before us. So even though we have done the right thing and gone onto the website and booked a campsite, um, obviously it's a free site, but here in Queensland, I'm not sure if it's all of Queensland or just like in Townsville, you still have to book them. Um, it's like a permit that you got to do. It's free, but you still have to book it so that they can control how many people go in there. Anyway. So we did the right thing. I spent forever, it probably took me like in half an hour at the pub um, the other night to do it because it was such a complex booking system. You had to put in all your details, yada, 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 whatever. We've done the right thing. You get there and it's completely chockers. So there's, it's clearly evident that people are not doing the right thing. Shit. I've got a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, how's that? <laughs> um, clearly evident that people are not doing the right thing. So it leaves us with no choice but to go back to the other campsite that we were at last night in the hopes that there's room there. Then I said to Kev, the thing that worries me about that is what if someone that has booked that one for two nights comes in and we're in their spot? Like it's it's so hard. They're the only campsites that are around here. Um, but at the same time, they're 48 hour camp spots and yeah. we are talking to a couple there and they said there's been two, um, two caravanners with um, cruisers. They've been there for four days now, so. And they're obviously just staying there but I don't know I just feel like they need a better booking system like how are you supposed to control the numbers that are going in there if you're not actually going out there and checking people's bookings like 
why don't you make people screenshot because there's obviously no service pardon me but you could make people or say like you need to have a screenshot as evidence or something like at the end when it's booked have a thing come up on the internet that says screenshot this as evidence because you will be asked and then have someone come out there and just check it doesn't take long to check like 10 minutes just check everyone's got a pass those that don't see you later because it is so infuriating so infuriating all right we're back here at the same campground that we were at last night there was a lovely couple just next to us that let us have their spot because they couldn't fit their car in so um problem solved but still need a better booking system anyway we're here for tonight and we'll touch base with you tomorrow good morning it is saturday the 20th of july don't judge us that's how far behind we are <laughs> by the time this is uploaded it'll probably be like october who knows Anyway, um, we are moving out of Townsville now and heading up towards Cairns. We're going to stay half an hour south of Cairns, just in a um, free camp there. Apparently, they have coin-operated showers and stuff, so we need to get some coins out because we've completely used all of our coins um, through laundry and everything. So, and the pool table, yeah. We will go and do that. Um, but today's the day that Mel and Josh are coming up to meet us. So, um, they got to Queensland, I think, yesterday. Um, but obviously, yeah, Queensland to Townsville was like 18 hours, or like the border to Townsville was like 18 hours. So... Um, I think they've got about eight hours of driving today, so Kev says, um, and yeah, they're going to meet us at that park um, that we're staying at, and then in the morning we will go to um, Cairns, have a bit of a look, go to Mossman, do some shopping there before heading up to Cape York. Um, so super exciting. Also, just want to touch base on something. We got a YouTube comment um, the other day on one of our videos that uh, basically just said that there was too much talking, um, terrible ca quality camera work, all this sort of stuff. Um, even though it doesn't really affect me because I don't care. The videos, like I've said plenty of times, are just for men, for us, like ourselves to look back on and our friends and family to watch. Um, we are super grateful for anyone else that subscribes to our channel and comments along. I know there's a few um, regulars that comment on our videos and we're super grateful for that. But do bear in mind, we're not trying to be reef addicts. We're not trying to be, um, you know, trip in a van or anything like that. We're not trying to be those people. We're just trying to keep it as real as possible. Video what we do. There's going to be a lot of talking. They're vlog style videos. They're yeah, literally look at the definition of vlog. Yeah, it's literally a video log where you're talking about what you're doing and showing it. So if our videos aren't for you, just keep going. You don't, on. you don't need to leave a comment. The part that is hurtful is it takes me hours and hours on my laptop to edit these videos. And then when people are leaving comments like that, it's just not very nice. So um, even though our videos might not be cup of tea that's fine just watch somebody else's channel i can definitely recommend reef addicts they have shorter videos way more action-packed full of fishing if you love fishing go and watch them um larissa is so hot and wears a bikini so go and watch her <laughs> if you want to watch her but um yeah like if that's not if we're not your thing that's fine um please just don't leave comments like that because they're not helpful we don't mind constructive criticism we're all for it um but yeah leaving comments that aren't helpful tall poppy syndrome not very nice so yeah, if you watch us... I guarantee us, the people making the comments have never travelled in their life. They're just sitting at TV watching it, so... One of the comments was, like, um, aimed at Kevin. It said, like, your wife slash girlfriend took up the whole 12-inch screen or whatever. Like, do you want me to, like, hold this way back here as I'm talking to you or... Like, I don't know. It anyway. doesn't matter what you do nowadays. Nah, someone's someone's going to be unhappy with it. Say. But, yeah, my, bottom line is, like, if you don't like our videos, we're not offended. Just watch someone else that's Job fine on, if you do like it thank you we appreciate you we're just going to keep doing what we're doing anyway i hope there wasn't too much talking but uh those of you that watch us and like what we do thank you we appreciate you those that don't go and find another youtube channel Fuck to watch off. how cool is this guys you it's can so tell that we're near cans it is so green all the mountain tops are green all the sides of the road there's sugar cane everywhere absolutely beautiful radio just um, pulled up at Innisfail. Innisfail, Innisfail. And it was actually a really nice drive. Heaps of banana trees on the side of the road, um, which Kev's never seen a banana tree before. So he was fascinated with the bunches and how each stalk only grows one bunch and the bags around them. It's pretty cool to see, actually. $2 a kilo up here. Yeah, $2 Cheap a kilo. Cheapest chips. We pay a fortune at home for bananas. Um, but I said to Kevin, I'm pretty sure Queensland, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Queensland is the only state in Australia that actually grows bananas um, and then, yeah, distributes them across um, other states. But Which I could be wrong. Because when it floods up here, we get no bananas back home and the price goes through the roof. So. I don't know. But anyway, we're happy to be here. We're 44 minutes out of our camp. We're just going to stop and get some Subway. Um, I really wanted an ice cream because it's hot today and back home it's 8 degrees. And I said to Kev, oh, we should rub in. I should take this off. We should rub in getting an ice cream. But then we saw Subway and I was like, I'll settle for Subway, no ice cream. So 
I feel like that was a good sacrifice. Anyway, off to get Subway. All right, we just got here. It's called Green Patch RV Park and it is pretty busy. So we've just sort of parked near a tree so that we can move over when um, Josh and Mel get here and also put our awning out just to um, use all of the things around our car so that we're not hogging up more space than what we need, but we are set, still saving a spot for Josh and Mel. Um, I feel like really rude doing it, um, even though like we've never done that before and it's not rude because we're just literally setting out our awning, which everyone else does, but because we normally try and take up as little space as possible i feel really rude doing it but whatever it's all right um like i said it's on our car it's to be set out so um we wait for josh and mel to arrive all right i think you can just see me and probably just hear me there's a lot of backpackers around here getting blind we have had a shower two dollars two dollars or four dollars it was four dollars four one dollar coins for showers which wasn't no. too bad no it was two dollars you sure yeah for a four minute shower yeah and then additional one dollar coins for more ah oh. I think I put four bucks in. Anyway, we're just waiting on Mel and Josh. They'll be here in probably ten minutes, so... Yay, yay! Alright, I'm pretty sure that was Josh and Mel. Oh, I just said to in. Kev, imagine if he was filming, saying, Oh, they've arrived! And then as he's like filming some random coming around, they go over the bridge. Was it him? I'm pretty sure it was him. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Bloody idiot, just drive over the wrong bridge. Oh, listen to that cruiser. Oh. Wow. Holly's gonna make him have a seizure with her head torch. Oh, friends. Finally. Finally. Pulled up. Good morning. Look who's here. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Mel and Josh have arrived. It was actually a really good sleep last night apart from a few backpackers uh, that were just very loud at like 4am in the morning after they got home from wherever they caught an Uber to. Uh, so that was a bit frustrating. But anyway, um, this morning we have gotten up. Uh, Kevin and I had a shower last night and Mel and Josh had theirs this morning. Really good showers here. It's You put two $1 coins in for four minutes and then each dollar coin after that is an additional two minutes I believe. Um, we have really hot nice showers here so really great facilities. It's just a shame people don't look after it. And this morning like so many people have left but it is still this busy here. I don't know if you can see like all the spots. It goes all the way out the back there. And I'm not joking when I say like there's a fair amount of people that have left this morning too. So um, anyway, more importantly, guess what's arrived in the mail? Kev is so salty about this. So for those of you that don't know, Kev and I religiously listen to Alpha Blokes podcast. I'll put the name on the screen. Um, Tommy, Cam and, well, Tommy and Cam are the um, co-owners of it. And um, Quinn is like, the, they call him a switch bitch. Um, awesome podcast. Fantastic. Really funny. Um, don't listen if you're easily offended, but if you're not, go and watch it. It's not like, listen to it. It's amazing. Anyway, um, Kevin and I both called in on separate occasions because you're allowed to call into their podcast and tell stories. Um, so we called in and told a story and our story each one our episode that we were on um so they send you this hat if you win it's quite funny so it's got a carry on license plate their signatures says stay out of yourselves which is like their motto i guess you could say like they're all for mental health and um helping people sort of laugh their way through life which is good um and then all of their sponsors they've got tiktok they do like tiktok nutrition um completely different to the tiktok app though um ctc for country trucker caps uh, and knuckles who owns that and then their alpha blokes podcast at the front so i'm going to be wearing this around the flats <laughs> it is so cool and kev is dirty because his has not arrived yet but you know what i've got mine and that's all that matters on another note plan today we're 20 minutes out of cans we're going to go to cans they have a market on so we're going to see what fresh fruit and veg we can get from there mum's told me it's a really good market so we'll go and check that out um and then i think we're just going to explore a little bit of port douglas we will stop there on the way back from cape york but we just want to go have a quick look um what else do we have? Oh, we're planning on staying at the Lion's Den Hotel tonight. Um, and then, fire, I'm full of gas. Staying at the Lion's Den Hotel tonight and then, yeah, launching it to Cape York um, tomorrow. It just gives Mel and Josh a bit of a rest. They've literally been doing like 15, 12 to 15 hour days driving to get up here. So we don't want to do a massive day today. We'll just take it slow, have a bit of a chill day, do some shopping and enjoy ourselves. All right, we're in the car and heading to Rusty's Markets, which is 25 minutes away. Here we go, Rusty's Markets. Heaps of fruit and veggies just everywhere. Really fresh too, they look really good. Okay, 
just came out of the market so we ended up getting some bananas which only cost me two dollars thirty for like i think it was like 10 bananas that was pretty good um and we got some apple and cinnamon loaf i don't really i'm not a fan of apple and cinnamon i'll eat it but i'm not a fan of it kev likes it and um mango and coconut loaf which we're excited to try um but we are going to head to port douglas because we can always have a look back at cans on our way back through after doing the um tip so we're going to head to port douglas have a look around there see what there is to do and then yeah maybe stop somewhere nice for lunch before heading to the lion's den just driving through these like little it almost oh how would you describe that i have no idea tunnel. yeah like a little grassy tunnel like what you find as a kid when you're playing outside in the garden how cool and then on the right when the trees disappear i'll show you but the um Oceans just out there, which is pretty cool. Here we go. How cool is that? It's so pretty. We're about 50 minutes out of Port Douglas. Wow, so pretty. Guys, we are just captivated by this drive. It is so pretty. I don't even think this picks up how blue the water is here. Especially when you like oh, when these trees move. It's like a turquoisey blue. Here you go. So pretty. It's literally like postcard material. Be a lot of clean fish here. So nice. I have to chuck a line out today. Right, we've made it into Port Douglas. We're about two minutes from the main town. But so far, a lot of palm trees, a lot of resorts, a lot of families, a lot of cars, and nice sunshine. Isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. We just went for a look around the shops. Uh, very busy here in Port Douglas. We left the camera in the car. It wasn't anything too exciting. Had some lunch, had an ice cream, and we're just sitting down eating the ice cream and Kev saw what we call a trendsetter, which is someone that wears the merchandise of the podcast that we listen to and the ones we won the hat from. So who's now claimed my hat <laughs> in the hopes that this trendsetter, or said trendsetter, will pass him again? He's all right. What a joke, the hat belongs to me. Just put up to Woolies and we're just gonna do a quick shot. We don't need too much because Mel and Josh brought up heaps of meat. So Kevin and I are gonna do the salad um, side of things, I think, and all of that sort of stuff and snacks. Um, and then we'll try and just do meals together to make it easier and cheaper for everyone. So we'll go and do some shopping. What's going on? Just going to get fuel. We dropped the girls off at the shop. So me and Josh are gonna go get fuel. Dollar 91 in Mossman or Mossman, wherever it is. Mossman. Okay, the time is 2.35 and just finished grocery shopping. And where are we going? The day train! It's <laughs> two hours away. We're going to the ferry to go to the day train to go to the lion's den. Let's go. The views just don't get any better than this, honestly. We're back to the greenery that we used to in Victoria, but it's just up here in far north Queensland and it is stunning. It is so nice and warm today as well. We're probably about 10 minutes out from the ferry to take us across to the Daintree um, and then from there we'll head up to Lion's Den. So we'll let you know once we get to the ferry. Right, here we go, just pulling up to the pay station. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we just went to go pay and, and unfortunately the we are... in front of us have done the pay it forward scheme apparently. <laughs> we are the second one in the line so we had no choice but to just succumb to this peer pressure. Well, not peer pressure, this um, ridiculous ridiculous behavior what's the go you gotta wait what was that <laughs> crossing takes you from here over to there so it's only a short little ferry apparently there's crocodiles all in here go for a swim mel yeah <laughs> you can see little shaggers in there obviously fish and stuff there you go now we wait there's a few cars in front of us but i think we'll be right to get on this one so we'll right. wait for it to arrive. Right, here we go. Josh is just in front of that FG going on. That's all his old car in front of us. <laughs> yeah, that's literally exactly what we used to have. And we'll go on the left hand side as directed by old mate with the uh, fanny flap. <laughs> they paid for our ticket, you asshole. <laughs> Wasting absolutely no time at oh. all. Oh. <laughs> We're already going. Oh, did that fully come out? Yeah, we've been using tea tree cream for all our midgy bites. Oh man, don't even get me started. I look like a freaking junkie. I've got that many pick marks <laughs> on me. But yeah, we're already halfway across. Pretty cool. And Mel and Josh are just out behind us here. I'll give just, it to Kev. Just down the road there. Hello. Hi Melanie. <laughs> and just like that, the ride is over. Very short ride, only like five minutes. It's like not even that, I reckon. Very short Thanks, crossing. Mate. A little creek crossing here. As we're going through the danger rainforest. 
We've just pulled up to the Donovan Range viewpoint. How pretty is that? We've chucked the drone up, so we'll pop that footage on for you guys to have a look at. We've got a serious problem here. But they've changed the straws on juice boxes. Oh no. They're cardboard now. What the fuck are you doing? I just had a plastic one before. But they're still wrapped it. in plastic. Oh, bloody yeah. idiots. And it's still a plastic <laughs> juice box. Aluminium. <laughs> what the hell? All right, at the moment, this drive has been pretty, oh, pretty exciting. There's, um, we're on Bloomfield track and it is very steep. Just recently there was a 79 series that tried towing a caravan up here even though it says do not take trailers or caravans up here. He tried and he ended up throwing his clutch um, around one of the corners and it, it's just that steep. It actually says to engage low range and there's a lot of little creek crossings but everything, I think the steepest we've seen was 31% and it was freaking like you were standing upright just about. Alright, the time is 10 past 6. I'm super tired because that was a very windy and long drive, but we have arrived at the lion's den, so we're going to go and have some dinner. Alright, here we go. It's a bit dark, but... We've kindly requested... Uh... Oh, they all like riding. All those. Did you ride on it, Mel? Yeah, no, somewhere right, right here. Right your name in the dunny. Oh, gift shop. Oh, these are cool. Mine's Den Hotel. So Mel and I got here right as I were taking off the reserve signs. The bub, uh, the bub, <laughs> the bar is right there. Band is there, and the boys are currently parking the car all the way out the back, which Mel and Josh paid for again. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Uh, what a wonderful night it was at the Lion's Den Hotel. Very peaceful listening to the river here. Um, hell out of Palmer, I had roast pork. It was beautiful. I haven't had a roast pork, I reckon, since we left, so just hit the spot. Uh, right, we are on our way to Cohen. So we're heading towards the Jardine Ferry and we're seeing how far we can get. Like, we're going to aim for Cohen. Um, and then once we get to Cowan, we're going to see how much further it is to the ferry and work it all out from there. So, happy days. All right, we've been driving for about an hour and a half and just stopped at Laura to get some fuel. How much was it? $2? $2. Uh, Third? 20, $24. Oh, $2.24 a litre. There you go. So, we put, I think it was $80 or $90 just to top it up. Um, and we are continuing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pulled up for lunch. Uh, there's a couple of little corrugated roads, but nothing too serious yet. There's a nice river down there. It's not deep, deep, but comes on getting the rod out. It's probably the only perch in there anyway. Um, yeah, we're just going to make some ham and salad wraps, and then we're going to venture on. How long until Cohen? Around 40 kilometres. So, oh, and the three-liter nearly absolutely gapped the 79. So, you know. I know, lunch is over. Josh the weirdo has barbecue sauce on his salad wraps. It felt illegal having to squeeze that on. Look at him, he's enjoying it. <laughs> hey, we've arrived in Cohen. Uh, we're gonna fill up just to top up because it gets very expensive towards the top. It's already $2.65 here. Our plan is to sort of head to Bramwell Station. Um, that's three hours and 45 minutes from here and it's already two o'clock. So we're just gonna stop somewhere in between there, wherever we find a spot that is nice and vacant, I suppose, so. Okay, hello. Hello. We, we have pulled up in a little, or at a little rest stop here. It's quite open, there's no one else here. Plenty of firewood. Um, however, we are about 115 kilometers out from the start of the Teletrack, um, about a two hour drive according to the HEMA maps. Um, so we're going to attempt to do that, well not attempt, we will hopefully do that tomorrow, um, if all goes well with the cars, and then start the uh, old Teletrack tomorrow, and then just sort of play it by ear um, and take it day by day on where we camp. We do have Punson Bay booked um, for the 29th, so as long as we're up there by then. Um, everything else we've sort of just highlighted spots. Um, Mel's done Cape York before so um, Mel's highlighted some spots and we've also talked to some friends at home, um, Jared, H, Hannah and Britt who did Cape York um, last year 
and told us some spots as well so yeah we just highlighted all of those spots that we want to sort of go and see and that could possibly be a good camping spot um and then yeah just play it by ER day by day um head up to the top and then go to Bramwell go to Punson Bay um go to the tip get the classic photo at the tip um have a bit of a look around and then start coming back down we'll do Frenchman's on the way back um and then yeah plan is just to head down towards obviously Townsville and the coastline down there and then complete that coastline um down the side of the east coast before meeting up with Georgia and Juzzy about mid-August um in the Gold Coast so there we go Pulled up for camp and Indiana Jones <laughs> Indiana Jones <laughs> <laughs> Ow, help me. <laughs> I wonder what the poor people are doing. Oh, we got Alfredo in for now. And you and Josh are going to have the same stuff. So, that'll still eat her lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's mastered it. There we go. He's about to steal treasure. <laughs> I love the <laughs> How's this for dinner? The boys have got Caesar salad because it was a big pack, but they're boys and they're hungry. So we gave them the Caesar salad with steaks and Alfredo. And we have steaks, Alfredo and veggies. How good's that? Yum. All right, we've winched a dead tree and cut it up. Um, got the fire stoked. Camp chairs are set up. Mal's, Josh's, Holly's, Kevin's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone's laughing, but I reckon it's great. I don't know if we told you, but I actually found that. I think we did, didn't we? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, because it packed up real easy. Mel and Josh brought this one up with them. Yeah. And just, he it's reckons he's got chair, the best though. setup because look at this. He just it's... like picks it up, picks it up, and he's ready and to I'm go. I'm off. I'm ready to go. These fuckers are going to fuck around with bags and shit. Yeah, but our chairs are so much more comfy. Nah, no way. That thing's grouse. <laughs> and you want to fish? You can just pull that little thing out and just throw a line in. It's easy as. Oh, there's the water, mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're always hanging shit on me, but. You know what? It's hard being me. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of another episode. Obviously, if you like our content, please give us a like, share and subscribe. Hoorah! Hoorah!